Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a happy, sappy couple in love that loves reacting to some Halo. <laughs> we are a happy, sappy couple. <laughs> and it's Wild Card Wednesday, people! Yeah! So on this channel, uh, every Monday through Friday, we release a schedule on Sundays for our reactions. Wednesday, we leave open. And uh, to surprise you all, and surprise, this is Halo. And Halo Infinite's coming out today, and uh, it's released, and so hopefully you're playing it, hopefully you're loving it, hopefully it's, hopefully it's better than Halo 5. I have not heard good things about Halo 5, uh, so hopefully Halo Infinite is infinitely better than Halo 5. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're reacting to some Halo Infinite trailers today, some of the newer trailers, the uh, like Unspoken, and uh, Rise of the Banished, and the uh, new launch trailer that came out for Infinite. So we're, we're celebrating Infant's uh, release and launch. Um, we just did a big Halo trailer compilation not too long ago. Um, and now we're doing, we're doing some more Halo. More Halo it is. More Halo it is. And if you want more of our Halo reactions, go ahead and check out the description of this video. We got a playlist for those, and we're gonna check this out. Humanity clings to the belief that a savior will come, that a hero will rise, shrouded in armor to save you. It won't. Armor can be broken, bodies shattered. When you look back on these last days, you will realize that all you've built was a tomb. Oh, that was cool. Reminded me of like uh, American Gladiators or something. Activating verbal reconstruction. Begin. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Dominguez, You don't know me, but I know you. I served with your son. He spoke of you all the time. I was there. We were ambushed by jackals. David didn't flinch. He led. He was brave. And I followed him into battle. Together we fought them off, but we paid a price. Proud. 
but my throat. And then I started to feel confused. And I lost consciousness. When I awoke, he was gone. David saved many, many lives. He seized vital technology. Criminal. UNSC. Defenses. He was the brother I always wanted. He will always be my brother. And your son. He loved you. He loved you to the end. Yeah. You also learn sign language really fast after like getting his throat cut. Mm -hmm. Buried in the heart of an ancient moon, he always dreamed of the fight. Glory was won while his brothers were lost in battles he waged in the night. His life blown away in the blood that he gave, an offering unrecognized. He never became what he already was, the darkness that brings on the light. Never became what he already was The darkness that brings on the light Never became what he already was The darkness that brings on the Soil to the stars. Huh. Very cinematic. Yeah. I thought he was gonna get up and sing. Didn't look like he had the speech in him. Just looked like he was like, Mom got old and like, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can say. Got to sing the song. I think it's people. Oh. Okay. 
First, I'd like to thank the UNSC for rejecting my proposal. This time, rather than show you schematics, I thought I'll show you the real thing. Project Magnus. The conductive transfer of an equal mass and high tensile fiber, or as one of you call it, a rope. Hmm. Test 1.0. Start. Test for Pontio. Technically, this part supposed to go much further. <laughs> Technically. Hi, Mom. Hi. How are you? Um, I'm fine. I'm yeah. fine. And you? Yeah, I'm really good. Thanks. Conductive transfer to 17. Go for it. So, you have 50 freighters. Mm -hmm. Each freighter has enough fuel to travel 100 parsecs. Okay. Using all 50 freighters, what is the maximum distance you can travel? What class are the freighters? Um, it doesn't matter, I don't know. Well, it might matter. That's 44. 350 per sec. Correct. <laughs> fly them 50 per sec, drain half the fuel. Until the other half, fly, rinse, repeat. I know. Honestly, honey, nothing. Nothing in the current fleet will ever fly that far. I know. Hey, Airway report from the Outer Colonies this evening. Covenant warships have blast Arcadia. Stay with us for continuing updates. Test 63. Test 70. Test 72. <laughs> I know it might not seem it, but you're getting there. You are. so much. I miss you too. I can't wait to see you and all the work you've done. Wow, I was really well acted by her at that moment. Mm -hmm. I and mean, then it finally, when she got it, I just <laughs> laughed her that she had like, perfect. Enough. Nice. 
Okay, uh, so those were all really good, and um, the UNSC ones uh, were very well done. I think the first one unspoken was my favorite. What I love about them is that they focused on the people mm -hmm. that are in this world. Um, obviously, Master Chief is our hero. Naturally, all the other trailers have focused on on him or the gameplay or, or whatnot, and rightfully so. But I think these trailers spoke to me more than any of the others just because now I get what he's fighting for. I mean, you know, like the exactly. human story, what's really at stake here, and, and all the people who are working so hard to give him his best fighting shot, from getting the ore for his suit to mm -hmm. the grapple that he then, we see in the gameplay, uses to explode that thing. I mean, yeah. like, it put a human face behind everything that's in the game in, in a way that was really moving. It was very moving, and uh, I just, I at first wasn't in love with the uh, the last Archive trailer, um, and I wasn't totally feeling it, and then, but the, at the end, the payoff was so worth it, and, you know, it was only, like, I don't know, five minutes or something like that, maybe less, that we kind of followed her journey of trying to create this, this, this grappling hook, and when she finally did it, you know, the, uh, the joy on her face at, at having finally achieved that, and just the, the relief... And anybody that's, uh, you know, it worked for anything and uh, in, in their lives and, you know, worked hard at something and finally reached that goal can can relate to that. And so it's such a, a very relatable moment and um, something where I didn't realize, I, I didn't really expect to get as, uh, as sort of choked up and, and, and invested at, in the end of it as I was. Because like, when I was watching it, I, I didn't think that I was that invested. But then at the end, when she got it, and again, like I said, kudos to that actress because I think she did a, a perfect job uh, encapsulating that moment. Uh, I, I just had realized how invested I had been. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I think it it sort of creeps up on you, but this this to me makes the game infinitely more interesting. Um, when when you put the human face behind it, the people behind it, um, mm -hmm. that's why I love when when you all are so generous and share your knowledge on lore and history uh, on some of these games and and sort of like, sort of like the backstory that's going on, because then. It suddenly means that much more. I mean, mm -hmm. don't be me wrong. Games are fun. I enjoy playing games. But when I know the story behind it, the people behind it, yeah, I'm infinitely more invested. See what I did there? Infinite. I I, I did. I did. <laughs> um, and I, I, you know, I think people are interesting. People are 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 complicated and and wonderful and screw ups mm -hmm. and and messy and fantastic and and everything in between. So when we have those stories within the game, it just makes it so much more rich. Agreed. Uh, so let us know which one of your favorite trailers uh, were in this compilation that we watched. And if you're playing Halo Infinite, let us know how it is and yeah. if you're loving it. And just keep in mind that our reaction for this Wild Card Wednesday for a bunch of Halo Infinite trailers is definitely not definitive.